agenda is uh, Fire Chief, Mr. Brad Weiss, wants to address the council on uh, the standby. Uh, now is in place. Uh, I'll let him discuss what he thinks, and this will be a discussion only. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, State your name. State your name. Oh, my name is Brad Weiss, Chief of Fire Department. Um, I'm here because about three weeks ago, I had a member of the fire department approach me that their, they felt their paycheck was incorrect. And after going through um, the call totals that we had responded to versus the report I get from City Hall on our actual payroll, I found that 17 firefighters, uh, including myself, were missing pay for structure fires. Um, it was decided a year ago when this topic came up, if a structure fire occurred, the members that remained in the station were still paid for that call and still paid for that call to structure fire because the requirement was they proceeded in training, they continued to do station duties, and they did work. Those calls were a $25 call. Um, from what I am told, because I was forced to use a new pay sheet and the standby at fire station section was added. So without my knowledge, sometime in the last six to nine months, the firefighters went from receiving full pay of $25 for these calls to $7 for these calls. Um, in just the last three months, that only equates to $810. But it was also done without anyone's knowledge on the fire department or myself. So right now I have 17 members that feel that they are short on pay. So that's, that's why I'm here today. Um, I don't think anybody changed it, has it? It's always been that way? When John was still the chief oh, and it went oh, to that oh, way, oh, oh, we were paid this way. I'm not saying you wasn't paid that way. You were paid a lot of ways that we can't do that. This had nothing to do with what was changed then. We continue to be paid this I don't way. Think, I don't think anybody changed this ordinance. It has nothing to do with the ordinance. The ordinance, the ordinance, yes, does. excuse me, Go the ahead. current ordinance we're working under was passed on September 12, 2017. And the rest of the ordinance besides staying mean on scene says comply with SOGs and our SOGs do not allow for all the members to leave town when we have a mutual call. So in the same sentence it's contradicted. Either we there's a lot of things over it's contradicted each other. So but like I said, whenever it was agreed that this is how we were being paid and when we were being followed, we were being paid this way and continued to be this paid when it was changed. At some point it was changed because when this column of standby was added I personally went through and verified to see what I was getting paid for and what I wasn't getting paid for. Since we were getting paid for, I stopped counting calls on every single one until it was brought back to my attention. I don't know at what point it was changed. I said all the firefighters here feel that this is how we should have been being paid because the council here discussed that and said that's how we were going to be paid. I'm not arguing that. When you say the council decided that, did they pass an ordinance or a resolution? They discussed that that's what their interpretation of this ordinance was. Is that in minutes? It should be at some point. I sent many, many correspondence to you to review and never heard anything back. So to I, who? To you. I sent it to Mark and it was referred to you. I was, at least that's what I was under the impression of. On what? When we were discussing the pay and how everything was done. I had emails to you. Before, we, before September? Before September, no, this was after, the, after this. This is about one year ago, whenever this topic came up. Well, back, back to your original statement, you know, a, a council only speaks through votes. Okay. And if a council member says, I agree with you, and another councilman says, well, I agree with you, that's not the council. I can show that we were paid this way, and at some point in the last six months it was changed. Who has the authority to change it if there was no vote? It was my understanding it was changed to be in compliance with the ordinance, but I, I, I don't know specifically. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm here because everybody here feels that the interpretation was of that. And I don't know at what point it was not, it was changed. It's, like I said, it's the council's decision of how they want to handle it. just change the ordinance out of law blue. I'm not trying to change the ordinance. I'm trying to follow the ordinance. That's what we're doing. Okay. Because the ordinance says, you know, stand by, you get seven dollars. Does it not say that? Stand Does by, it, hold it. Stand Does by it is a not call say that? Stand Does by it is a not call say type. That. Does it not say stand that? Stand by is a call type, not how we it handle it. Call. Stand by seven dollars. Don't. If don't the call it. type. Don't. It. Just answer yes or no. I'm going to say no by. because it does not. Okay. Because that's not how I agree with it. Okay. Well, states mutual aid stand by. 
It's a mutual aid standby. And that is a call plan. I have one of those calls that was in question, and it was paid as $7, exactly how the ordinance says. It was a mutual aid standby. When a fire truck rolls to a structure fire, that is a structure fire, regardless of what duty was performed by that firefighter. Well, let me, let me, let me just ask you, I, and I'm just looking at this as a lawyer. Okay. okay look, what I see it saying, it says if you go to a structure fire, you get $25. Yes. If you go to a vehicle approach fire, you get, you get $15. Yes, sir. And for every other call, you get $7. Yes, sir. Okay. Then it goes on and says no firefighter shall receive payment for any call unless he reports to the incident. And I would assume at a structure fire, that would be for, you know, reporting where the fire was, the structure yes. was. Or a vehicle or a brush fire, you report there. But it still says following our SOGs. And but our but that's, that's, that's a limitation. It says you have to report there and comply with the SOGs. So should I allow all firefighters that wish to, to respond to that structure fire outside of the city? Because then I'm in a direct violation of our guidelines. <laughs> and that's what it comes down to is... Well, I'm, you're, you're, I'm talking about what the ordinance says. Okay. You're saying things were changed. That's why I'm saying I wasn't in the middle of this. Our pay was changed at some point. Well, and that may have been because you guys were getting paid in a way that wasn't in line with the city ordinance. I, I thought that's feel like I should have been notified to I notify thought, my firefighters well, if that was the truth. Somebody's not talking to me. No, go ahead. I, I thought when we met, we kind of, that was kind of, I thought, what I said. And I thought that was what Mark and the mayor said, that you guys were not being paid pursuant to the ordinance. Yeah. That, that, you, you don't remember that conversation? Yes, I do. Okay. But you're also but you're already violating the old ordinance. It says it's the scene. So we got disregarded on the call and you paid us. So does no. that mean you're violating the ordinance because of that? You, the firefighters went to the station for an EMS call. And they got seven dollars. But you're saying that they shouldn't get paid at all. No. No, I'm saying they should get the seven yeah. don't you get the seven dollars? If if, yeah. if the so chief tells you to stay at the fire station, they were I'm receiving standby. the twenty five. So just a minute. If, but, but the question is, you said they didn't get anything. My question is, if they go to the station, one of their chief or one of the assistant chiefs says, stay at the station, mm -hmm. they get $7. It hadn't been that way. Yeah, but, well, but, but, but that's what they get. A minute ago, you said they didn't get anything. They get $7. Apparently, it was they, they get $7, correct? Right. Yes. Now, apparently, yes. And that's what the ordinance allows. But the ordinance is also stating a call type. Not the job that was done. No, it says it says shall receive payment for any. Let's see, uh, shall no shall not receive payment unless he reports to the incident. What do you think incident means? There's a fire over here, and you go to the fire station, and you're at the incident. I think it means they participated and did hours of no, work and that's deserved not, to pay. Well, see, that's where you and I disagree. That's not no. what the ordinance says. And I think, and again, I wasn't involved in, but I think the mayor and Mark discovered that things weren't being done pursuant to the ordinance, and then they started applying the ordinance. Now, maybe that's maybe I'm wrong. I know, I know, I know that's all we're trying to do, go, hey, and if this board wants to change that ordinance, okay. I don't have a problem with it. My problem is we have to go by what's in the book. And you have been, everything we do, that's what this book is. But you're are. not holy, that's my point. Well, well, we, yeah, we are. To tell, tell us again what we're not doing about the ordinance. The call type is a structure fire. Regardless but, 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 but that's not what the ordinance says. The ordinance says okay. you get paid for yeah, that's structure. The just a minute. That's the Scrooge decision then. Well, no, I, then we need to change no, it. No, it, it's not the Scrooge decision. You look at the language of the ordinance. Okay. You convince me that this ordinance, when it says uh, reports to the incident, you tell me how that could be being at the fire station. <laughs> How could that be? To me, that's a continuation of the incident because we continue to put fire trucks in service at the station. Okay, I'll just start a new call well, sheet when we get well, done with every call then, if that's, if that's what I need to do. Well, I don't know what, I mean, I, I don't know procedures. All I've said is you got to look at the ordinance. Okay. Just because something used to be a given way, if it violated the ordinance, you got to follow the ordinance. That's what the mayor and Mark and okay. I thought the council would at least acquiesced in, but, but okay. they didn't vote on it. But, but that's what we're looking at. You can't say, well, we used to do it this way. The question is, what does this language say? And if you don't like it, propose to the city that it be changed. Now, I know Councilman Bowers met with you guys and tried to come up with all, uh, several different and ways. And it was supposed to be looked into continuous, but I guess it wasn't. I was under the impression we were getting paid that way, yeah. and apparently that changed. So, okay. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Did you work with John on this ordinance change? Because I know I did not come up with this. That ordinance was changed before 
Did you John you mean, on September 17th, I didn't take over. That, October, was, that was done before John. That was done before John. That had to be done before me then. <laughs> September 17th, no, you were here. Yeah, but I didn't, we never even discussed it until we ran into this problem of how they were being. I don't remember who wrote this up, so no, I, I, mean, I, can I, I don't write the ordinances until that end of day. <laughs> can I ask one question? Go ahead. You get responded to medical. That's a $7 call. And we get disregarded before we even get out of the firehouse. Do we get paid because we didn't respond to the incident? According to the book, okay, I'll read it again just to make sure that I'm right. So I don't. Well, I Technically, no. But we have. We yeah. have. Because, like he said, between this and the way you were being paid in the past, God only knows how that came about. Um, and I corrected all of that to the best of my ability. But it's still not corrected because John just came up with that same idea. But that ain't what's in here. Okay. So you didn't correct it very good, did we? Well, apparently not. I apparently not right. right. Because I think you guys are the ones who wrote this. I had nothing to do with it and no say so. It was done before me and I had no knowledge of how it was written or how it was put in. All we can do is go by what's in the book. Okay. The only thing I changed in is the, the pay scale. Okay. That's all I changed in that. So my question then is, what I never do you want the ordinance it. rewritten, or how do we want to approach this? Because as of right now, wait a second, we feel we're not being paid appropriately for the amount of hours we're putting in. I guess that concerns me a little bit using the word pay. You know, okay. you guys are volunteers, and, and the city really can get themselves into a bind if they treat you as paid as paid employees, because then they have to follow the whole minimum wage and calculating your hours and how many hours you work in a week and I know and that's why I've, everything that I've done was by call type it has nothing to do with hours work right, or the job said, done. You just said we don't feel like we're being paid what we deserve. I'm just saying that's a okay. poor, yeah. you, poor okay. use of terms. For what we deserve then. You no. know. You're not receiving a a gratuity. If we, were, if, we were paid, if we were paid hourly truthfully the calculation would be in the benefit of the city. The thousand hours would be, I mean, even ten dollars an hour that we put in for man hours would be less than what is paid on the stipend pay. But I've always been told we cannot do an hourly salary. I don't care to write it however the members here would like. But again, it's been to the point of it doesn't feel fair for the compensation for the hours and the time and the job that's being done. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, that's, why, that's why you're here. Okay? Yes. Let me, get, I'm going to get with the rest of the board. Okay. I might have you and Mark, and I might pull one more out of your department. Okay. And sit down and, and get this mess lined out. I thought we'd done this, but evidently we're different. Evidently, evidently well, something, a lot. Right. Oh, let me finish. Evidently, there's still things that's going on that we're finding still happen. Okay? Let's fix it. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. We're here to fix it and make both sides happy. Okay? I don't have a problem doing whatever we have to do to make it work, but it's got to be both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay? 8,731 people's got to be happy too. Okay? And it's not easy. So if there's, I have to go by this ordinance right now. No matter what, I've got to go by that book. Okay? I don't like it either, but I have to go by it. I get to throw it at me every time I make a right or a left, so it don't make any difference, okay? That's my job, okay? They set these ordinances, the council set them in, okay? Not the mayor. It's my job and Mark's job to go buy that ordinance, okay? And that's what I have to do until we get it changed. So what I'll do is I'll see what the board decides, okay? If, the, if they see that they are in need to change it, then we'll make the change, and I'll put you and Mark and one more. I'd like to have three of you, okay? And work it out to where these final eight can vote on a different ordinance and let's take it. Is that simple? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I would have done it in advance, but I was under the impression we were following it before, but every time I'm under that impression, something changed and I feel like there's a little more. I don't think out. anybody, I know I don't change ordinances, so I know that didn't happen. I know Mark don't rewrite them, and I know the board passes them. Okay. I guarantee you, they read them and they pass them. They question them every time. Okay. Mm -hmm. This has probably been there the whole time and nobody's ever paid attention to it. Okay? Yeah. I just think that we should have known before. I need, that's where I'm coming from. And that's and what I'm I had saying. no knowledge. Nobody probably even 
we probably overlooked it the whole time too until it caught our eye again. Once again, that's the same way with the other stuff in the past. It finally caught our eye, and guess what? We changed it and we fixed it, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, and if I would have known, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't be if, here. If we knew that that was that big of a deal to you, is that, you know, I still have to go by the book until this board changes. Okay? Big, big deal or not, it's still several hundred dollars. That's yes, why it is. I'm I know it so. is. And I'm not, that's funny. And that's why I said, that's why I'm here, because people feel that they weren't compensated the way but that I have to go by what's in that book. Okay. And that's why I said, let's sit down, let's straighten it out, and let's make sure that these final eight approve it, and then that way we don't have to worry about it anymore, do we? I hope not. And then everybody goes by what's in the book. Okay? Well, I said, that's what I'm trying to do. That's us. So. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you.